Hello, math geniuses. I am back with the last example tutoring video for this section. We're going to solve this system, 3x minus 5y equals 5, and 6x minus 10y equals 15. And the instructions say to solve by elimination, so I will. And let's say that if I were to multiply this line, the first line, all the numbers in it, by negative 2, I could get the x's to zero out because this would become a negative 6, add it to the positive 6, and I would get zero. So I'm going to go that route. So that line 1, better write that, line 1 becomes negative 6x plus 10y equals negative 10. And line 2 is going to stay the same. I don't have to do anything to it. 6x, see, I can get rid of my x's now, minus 10y equals 15. So, now all I have to do is add the two lines together and my x's zero out. But uh-oh, so do my y's. I'm left with a zero on the left and I'm left with a 5 on the right. All the letters are gone. All the variables have, have vanished. I'm left with a number, uh, a lie, actually. I am left with something that's false, which means I have an inconsistent system here. That means I've got two parallel lines going on. They never cross. There are no solutions. And so, when it comes to picking an answer, I would choose C. The solution set is the empty set. Okay? Now I'm going to check my answer. Aha! I got it right. Let's do another one. Yeah. Okay, let's try this. And we're told uh, to use elimination. So we're going to have 2x minus 3y equals 3. And this one is not in standard form. I need to put it in standard form. That'll be 4x. I'll subtract the 6y from both sides, so I'll have minus 6y here. And that equals 8. And now I've just got to figure out what to do. Hmm. Well, if I multiply up here by 2, by negative 2 again, it looks to me like we're going to have the same thing happen. And we're going to have 4x minus 6y equals 8. And doggone it, it's going to happen again. And again, I'm going to have, ah, but this time, look, that's a new symbol for you. That means the empty set, okay? So you can either see the words the empty set or you can see this symbol right here, which is why you should never put a slash through your zeros. A, a zero with a slash through it only means the empty set. Aha! Now what I really, really want I want to do this one. And we're going to solve this by elimination because I'm hoping 
this will give us the other kind of system, the one with infinitely many solutions, where one line is laying on the other. So let's see if this works. x plus 2y equals 2, and 2x plus 4y equals 4. And what if I multiply the top equation by negative 2? I'll get negative 2x minus 4y equals negative 4. And meanwhile, the equation, equation below it, line 2, is 2x plus 4y equals 4. This is going to do it for us because the x's zero out, the y's zero out, and the numbers <coughs> zero out. So I'm left with zero equals zero, which is true. This is one of those systems where you have one line laying on top of the other line. They touch everywhere, so there are an infinite number of solutions. We call this a dependent system, remember. Okay, so I will click right there and check answer, and we did it. So those are the kinds of answers you get with elimination when uh, you've got the unusual systems. Zero equals zero means you've got a dependent system with an infinite number of solutions. And zero equals five, zero equals two, some, some false equation means you've got an inconsistent system. You've got the empty set as your answer. Okay, I am signing off. Bye-bye.